Well, we have Transformer Thursday happening tomorrow, but out of nowhere, literally on the eve of that last Transformer Thursday for the month of March Madness and the 40th anniversary, we get a reveal from JT Prime 17 and our first look at the Target exclusive Legacy United multi-pack. Now, this is a nice little mix, like much most, most of those multi-packs have been. But there's a nice mix of different characters across different universes, continuities, and everything like that. Some nice deep cuts. We're going to break it down and make sense of everything like we do here on the Transformer Slag Podcast. And let's jump into it. So we got four characters here, one Voyager, three Deluxes, at a price point of $79.99. And what do we got here? So the first one we have is Voyager Class Cyberverse Tarn. So... Straight up, it's a straight up repaint of the Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Tarn figure. And it's a mild one at that. It's not something that really reinvents the coloring of the Tarn figure. Um, it's good, though, that it's not too crazy because a lot of people were not able to pick up the original Tarn. It was going for a pretty crazy amount of money on the secondary market. And so if it's something that you want to get, you do have now a secondary option of coloring. And it gives pretty much the same vibe as the original Tarn toy did. Um, now, this one indeed covers that Cyberverse version of Tarn, which is the perfect Decepticon, as he was called in the show. And it pretty much took that Tarn mold, the original one, and gave it more blacks and shadowed colors on it, which is what the, you know, the Tarn in Cyberverse's character model pretty much sported, more or less. Uh, puts more paint in the face to give more of that demonic look that he had in the show and everything. And I think it does a good job. Again, it's something that it fits different markets. It's just not too different enough from the original that people get an option to pick up a cheaper version of Tarn that the secondary market ruined in three digits. <laughs> no joke. Um, but just different enough to also represent a different character from a different continuity. So that's pretty cool, too. So makes people happy. I dig it. Not much else I could really say about it, except that, hey, you get a cheaper Tarn, but it's probably the least interesting of this box set moving forward. Next up is Deluxe Class Transformers Prime Universe Cliff Jumper. Well, it looks like the horns are back and we get yet again another Transformers Prime character updated into the legacy kind of uh, vernacular with Cliff Jumper. So uh, he's a retool of our recent Legacy United Deluxe Class Rescue Bots Chase figure, who oddly enough is also in the same continuity and universe. And it's funny how that works out and works out well in a lot of ways. And the tooling works out great too. So gone is the light bar off of the Chase figure and now replaced with the iconic bull horns that uh, Cliff Jumper had on his hood. Nice new show accurate head sculpt on it too. Looks great. And still has Chase's weapons on him, the two spotlights and the, the capture claw. Uh, he doesn't have the horns, as we'll call it, as a plug-in 5mm weapons, but I'm pretty sure at some point, be it third-party, 3D printing, or officially through Hasbro through a weapons pack, there'll probably be some 5mm pegs down the line of the horns that could be used for your cliff jumper. Who knows what they'll do? They'll, th they'll figure out something. Uh, now, does this replace your super expensive first edition deluxe prime you know, cliff jumper figure from back in the day. Not really. At the end of the day, it really is still a chase figure wearing a cliff jumper head and, you know, some little tooling here and there to make the alt mode work. And it still does a great job. It still looks great. But at the end of the day, it's not something that's super screen accurate to the original. It just is something that's a new update to it, much like a lot of the other past Transformer Prime figures. Although I feel this one does a much better job than, let's say, the, uh, the bulkhead and and the uh, the RC that we got before, let's say, or even that of the the breakdown. Well, the breakdown was pretty good too. Um, interesting also that uh, this figure is coming out around the time that his voice actor Dwayne the Rock Johnson is returning to WrestleMania next week after eight years. So good timing, Hasbro, purposeful or not. Uh, next up is a nice deep cut. We get uh, Deluxe Clash G1 Squeeze Play, or as us crazy Master Force, Super God Master Force fans call him, Cancer. Uh, and we mean that in a positive way, not in a negative way. Um, that is his name in the show, based off of the Zodiac. Uh, an ex a super extensive retool 
of the Titans Return mind wipe. It's pretty crazy what Hasbro did. I feel like a lot of the budget went into this uh, top and down. I mean, Hasbro must really like this mold between the original mind wipe, the Legends repaint, the retro reissue, the Convoy Bat, the Draculus retool that we got with the collab. Um, I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Now we're on our sixth version of it, and they did some extensive magical retooling here with Squeeze Play. And uh, it's great because the Headmaster gimmick is kept, or Titan Master if you want to call it that. You get uh, a brand new sculpted chest that really mimics that classic Headmaster's readout, the way that they did the tooling for the rest of the body. Really, at the end of the day, the the uh, the mind wipe is uh, pretty much just the, the skeleton of how this transformation works, and they just made a whole bunch of new parts. Truly is the legitimate retool instead of just a partial, which we've gotten in the past with some guys where it's usually just a new head and maybe this. But on top of it all, best of all, he comes with a uniquely sculpted weapon that comes with him. And it's not just any weapon. It's not just the weapon that he had in the show that came with the original toy. He comes with his partner in crime in the show, the micro-changer himself, Browning. So the character of Cancer in Master Force in the show was gifted by Empress Mega, this little Destron partner named Browning. And Browning was a toy based off of a Microman micro-change toy from the Diaclone Microman era called Gun Robo Browning. And this toy was silver, uh, well, the toy that was done in Master Force was silver. The show modeled, it was more based off of the original Microman toy, which was kind of brown. And uh, his gun mode has been now made into a small little weapon that Squeeze Play could hold here. And what's so great about this little gun that they included with him is it even has the crazy fine details of that original Microman toy with the little bullet BB latch, the two molded rivets on the side, and even, it's hard to see, but it's there, the Microman Micro Change logo on the butt of the gun. That is crazy that it's all there. That's super wild. And if you're a Master Force fan like me, it's yet again another addition to your collection of Master Force characters, and that's that's just great. I love it. Again, a nice deep mix already. You know, Already we got a Cyberverse character, a Generation 1 character from Generation 1 Japan, a Prime character, what else do we need? Well, the save the best for last in terms of deep cuts. Let's go into Beast Wars, because the deep cuts don't end here. We got the last member of this set, Deluxe Class Beast Wars Tarantulas. But, much like the Black Arachnia that we got with the past Target-exclusive Buzzworthy Bumblebee 4-pack, it's not so much based on her toy colors, but her box art colors and how she looked in that. And it's the same thing that's going on here. Being based more on the box art colors and what the original prototype of the toy looked like in the early days, be it the commercials or the early catalog photos. And this is obviously taking the Deluxe Legacy Tarantulas mold, giving it a brand new head sculpt. This isn't the Black Arachnia new head sculpt. This is a brand new head sculpt specifically for this Tarantulas. And using those box art colors, which are more of those, I guess, we oranges. And if you look at the box art, it's kind of like a dark, swampy green for the arms. Like they really tried to interpret it as best they can into a plastic form. And since the box art sported the mutant head, which is what Tarantulas' head was standard in the show, uh, they used the original toys' colors for inspiration in a small way for how they color the head for the robot mode, which is the traditional robot head instead of the mutant head. So very cool, nice deep cut with that too. What a great little box set. So much cool stuff going on here. Definitely a day one purchase. I love this kind of stuff. I love the deep cuts and all the weird things that normally you won't see year to year, month to month with the Transformers brand. When are we ever going to see a squeeze play in four years from now? Who knows? But this is really, really cool. So here's the skinny. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, pre-orders will go live uh, that's going to be on Target.com. There probably will be a limited number of them also available on Hasbro Pulse like they always do. They always say it's usually 5-10% of stock inventory, so it'll be in limited quantities, of course, at HasbroPulse.com. Will that be at 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. the pre-orders go live? I don't know. I would suggest check 9 a.m. If you can't get it on Target, check Hasbro Pulse. The MSRP on this is $79.99. 
for the four figures. So you do save some money there too. Really good price. And the plan release date is June 21st, 2024. Fantastic stuff. Really looking forward to this. And again, like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow is the very last of the Monday, excuse me, the Monday, the March madness, four weeks of live streams, Hasbro Pulse fan stream tomorrow, 40th anniversary Transformers, March 28th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to tune in. We're going to cover all the crazy stuff they talk about there. We might get a collab reveal. We'll see. Heroes in a Half Shell. We don't know. And then, of course, this weekend, too, we got even more stuff to cover when WonderCon comes with Transformers and the Studio Series reveals with Swoop. So we'll see what happens with that. Let me know what you think about all of this, guys, and I'll talk to you very soon in the near future. And thank you for listening. Oh, my God.